Effect. I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm going to spend some time in this video talking about my first real attempt at downsizing a collectible item in my, in my home. There, I don't collect too many things, but there is one thing that I do collect and I have collected for the last 50 years, and that is postcards. And I have carried boxes of postcards with me to every house that I've lived in, every place that I've moved, every, you know, I've just and they become overwhelming because I do like a lot of people when I travel I don't spend a lot on uh, gifts anymore uh, you know trinkets and, and souvenirs I buy postcards and as I mentioned in a previous video I actually buy one postcard and say that's it but I always end up ending up with five or ten and it's because I you know I go to different parts of the city I see different things and also I go to museums and uh, shops and pick up cards as I go it's just a thing I have about paper and collecting paper maybe you have that same um, same challenge but what I've done now is I, I've spent about five hours going through my postcards. Now I'm, I'm going to leave some pictures, pictures in the article um, below so you can see the transformation, how things progressed. But I wanted to share with you like the five things I did to sort of help me get through um, this downsizing, this learning to simplify a collectible a co as a collection as a, a, and a big group of things. I mean, it's already quite straightforward to go and, you know, look in a, in a clothes closet and start pulling out clothes. Maybe in your case, you have more than me. But for me, my postcards, and there's a couple of other things, photos of, um, of family is another one I've got to grapple with. But um, it's, it's, it was a collection that I needed to get my arms around. I must have had oh, I don't know, probably a thousand postcards. And, um, and I started, so the first thing I did was I started with a glass of wine. <laughs> Relax, that's the first thing to do. You know, don't take this all that seriously, especially if you're getting a little older and you're trying to clear and downsize. Um, you, you don't need the things to remind you of the memories anymore. That's what I you know, realized as I went along. But, the, but in terms of the practice, I sat down and just laid everything out. I didn't quite do the Marie Kondo of tipping it all out because I had my uh, postcards very neatly packaged in little bundles like this. So I just took a bundle at a time. And um, th the second thing I did was just lay, I just went through them one at a time. And I knew in my mind that I would remember when I came upon a duplicate, but I was just uh, amazed how um, the duplicates, you know, there were certain cities that were a lot of, and that's another thing I'll share. But I just went through them. Second thing is I went through it really, really fast. I didn't stop to have a thought about the place, who I might have known there, why I was there, what I did there. I didn't do anything like that. I didn't let my mind go anywhere near the memory. I just literally put two piles, ones that I was keeping, ones that I was throwing out. And there was a third little group that snuck in there too, which I'll tell you about later. But um, the, the, that was basically the second thing I did was just literally with a with a, almost a cold heart, <laughs> you know, separate. And then I put the, the pile that, um, the third thing was to put the pile in um, of throwaways in a bag. And I sealed the bag because I didn't want to go back there. I didn't want to go into my memories with those places. I knew I had kept one card for every place in my to keep pack. So I, um, I, I knew that I was going to be able to go back through. And that's the fourth thing I did. I went back through the list of keepers one at a time. And this, is, took, this, this took the longest because this is where I actually let myself have a memory associated with it. I found out she had a lot of postcards of places that I'd only stopped at the train station, being obsessed as I am with postcards. So with those, I kind of, I took one more clearing through and I removed all the cards of places. Like I had a card from, from um, where was it, Iran, that someone had sent me. And I thought it was so cool because I'd never, I knew I'd never get there and I kept it. But I thought, well, why did I keep that? There was no even memory with the person. So I threw that one away. So that was the fourth thing. I went through one more time and um, just separated everything. Um, the, I, just narrowing it down to the absolute essential that was the next thing and you know the, and then the fifth thing for me was really to have a cry and, and and I say that there were tears of happiness because I'm going to share with you now that the things I actually learned from this whole process and that that fifth step of letting it go you know just letting releasing yourself from any desire to have more and just live with less 
in your heart and your mind. Just simplify and learn to simplify in a way that doesn't, you know, jolt you out of reality or make you so sad, but just in a way that you get it. You, you kind of understand why you're letting that go. So those were the steps I took in downsizing my postcards. And in a way, it was simple. I mean, they're just pieces of paper, right? They're not, um, well, I say that, but that's not what happened. So what did I learn? Okay, what did I learn? <laughs> I've gone to so many places in this world. I am so fortunate. I'm so lucky that I've made decisions that have taken me to, I'll show you, this is what I've got left. These are the three piles I've got left, a lot still. But this pile, you see India on the front there. This one here, this little pile, Edinburgh, family there, go all the time, but I kept one card. And then finally, this little stack. So I've got three little piles of, of postcards. That seems like a lot to me, but you have no idea what that was coming from. I, I threw away four times as much as this. Seriously, is that unbelievable? But that was my first thing. I realized honestly how beautiful my life has been how I've, um, you know, I'm 70 years old. I've lived 70 beautiful years. I've done so much and I'm so grateful. Um, the second thing that I learned was that the memories are not in, on the paper. I mean, I've kept these and I probably will even downsize these more, but the memories are here. They're in my heart. And that's where I think that's going to be the key, I think, that opens me to a better experience with this simplifying my life and learning to simplify. And maybe that's the same for you, too. I've, the, the another thing I felt was just pure gratitude for the world, for the beauty of this world and the people that I've met and the, the gorgeous, gorgeous buildings and um, museums and places that I've had the, the just absolute pleasure to visit. I think those were some of the things that really, really struck me. And there's more. I'm going to write an article about this in a little bit more detail, but I wanted to, to record this video just to let you know um, I've done my postcards. I'll show you the bag. <laughs> I, I actually, I kept the bag. This is the bag of postcards that I'm throwing away. That's it. It's huge. It's heavy. And that's good. There's heaviness that's gone from me too. The heaviness has gone from me to that bag. Oh, I know the, the fourth or fifth thing I was going to say. I, if you pay a franc or a penny or a, sorry, or a pound or dollar for every card, I have got in that bag a, at least $800, maybe more. I could have spent that on any other thing. I could have given it to my favorite charity. I could have given it to my grandchildren for their savings fund. I could have taken another train journey somewhere. I could have bought a hat. I don't know. I could have done anything, but I spent that money on pieces of paper thinking that that was where the memory resided. And I'm not saying I'm not going to keep doing collecting postcards. I'm absolutely going to keep collecting one postcard wherever I go. One, one postcard. So um, thank you for listening, for being here. I hope that this is useful. I'll put some links in the article below to things I've learned and go in a bit more detail as to steps and what I learned. But I hope it was inspirational. I hope it was a good, uh, this learning to simplify with Margaret and uh, sharing my journey with you has been quite um, important to have support along the way. So thanks everybody. Good luck with your, tell me about your collectibles, what you're, what you're going to downsize that you've collected for years. Let's start there. That would be really fascinating. So thanks again for being here, everyone. Thank you for your support. And please subscribe to the channel here at YouTube so that we can get lots of people having conversations and learning to simplify together. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now.